Welcome to Eoz's, um, well, Carter's Pet Show. Um, for many times I've meant to do this. So, basically this is um, a Maine Coon. Um, they're very um, beautiful animals and they're the largest um, cat that you can actually own in the world. I think it is. But I think there's more like a Savannah and maybe even a Lynx. But I think you need a, a thingy for those. These you don't. You don't need a license. Um, Maine Coons, um, the males are the bigger ones, basically. And the females are a little bit smaller. As you can see on his ears, he has, like, beautiful lynxish ears, which are awesome. They're so big. Everybody on Facebook has actually said that his ears are like a dog's. <laughs> but... It means that he's going to grow up and be a very big cat. Even his paws, his back legs are really big. So that means he's going to be big and strong. And he's probably going to be bigger than my cat, Milo. Um, he's only probably around five to six months, I think. And basically, uh, my boyfriend loves him. It's his cat. He got him for his birthday. And he's, he's a very good cat. Cats originated from, um, I think it was France, because of Marie Antoinette. Um, I think she visited somewhere and got the cats from a country, but I swear these are winter cats, so maybe even Switzerland or um, Finland they originated from originally. Um, but then she gathered the kittens and brought them to America where the actual American breed came from and that's how oh, sorry that's how basically the cat breed is today and yeah Mary Internet got her head cut off and because of that because of her cats were actually in the country of America, um, they decided to breed them and make them a real breed. So it is actually a good thing that they did it because today there would be none of them. And it would be kind of bad because they are a beautiful breed. They have long hair um, and they the myth goes that they came from a raccoon. But a raccoon is actually not a cat. So it's actually a myth. But... They believe that they come from lynx or a bobcat, which is a really good one because they are big animals. And they say that a lynx or, or a actual um, what you call them, bobcat had babies with a stray cat, and this is the outcome, basically. So, is it hard to look after a Maine Coon? Well, the day-to-day -day basis, a kitten... Um, I would have to say that they're very boisterous, they run around, they go mental, in the middle of the night they wake up every two hours to run around, but if you um, actually play with them a lot before you go to bed, it's supposed to make them tired and have a full time sleep like a human, like six hours a day. But um, it depends on how much you feed them, because you're supposed to feed them two meals a day. I feed them wet food as well as dry food which is awesome and I do that two times a day and basically morning and night around probably around nine in the morning and then probably six at night and some people believe that they should have three but two is good enough because it keeps them not fat it keeps them slender it keeps them tough it keeps them happy and it keeps them from running around at night till like godly hours like every two hours but anyway, our Maine Coon is beautiful, as you can see. He's so cute. And I might get some videos of the other cat eventually, because he runs around and hides a lot. We just got them not too long ago anyway, so they're still settling in, and he's beautiful. So, if you really want to ask any questions about Maine Coons, and if they're good to have as a pet, um, go ahead below and comment and like the channel. Um... For me personally, Maine Coon, out of a 1 to 10 for a pet, I would say an 8. Because you have to have the ability to know what you're getting in for. And also, in a way, when they get older, they slow down. So 
they just like get calmer. I have birds as well, so I have cockatiels and rosellas, and you have to have the good cages as well if you do have a bird um, and you want a cat as well. And that's what I've done. I've particularly given in to my boyfriend. He wanted cats, so I just get let him do it. But the thing is, I got bigger cages now. They're stronger, and they would stand main coons. So it's a good thing. If you have weak cages, they can get in. They can break the cage. Things can happen. Birds can die. But because I bought a new cage, it, the weight of the animal will not be able to break this one. They're huge. They're basically 14 kilos each cage. So yeah, I don't think they'll be able to break those. <laughs> but yeah, they need two bowls. They need water in each room that they like to go in. Um, cats like to pick rooms depending on how they feel, how they are, and basically what they like to do. Um, during the day they like to sunbathe, or they like to go in the shade, it depends on the animal. All animals have different um, things like humans. They like, oh I like the sun, I like the shade, I like chocolate, I like this, that. But never give a cat chocolate. Cats are not allowed chocolate or avocados or onions or tomatoes. Um, I have a Facebook page that is Cats Cats Cats. If you would like to join that, that would be awesome. Um, Cats 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 is in C-A-T and then K-A-T, K-A-T. Because I live in Denmark and in Denmark cats are actually called K with a K instead of a C. Um, it's really um, different but in some other countries it's the same and I think in America it's the same too but I'm not quite sure I don't think it is but you know anyway thank you for watching and um oh yes and I forgot one thing some cats don't like collars some cats do like collars um microchip your cat spay your cat if you want to but if you're a breeder which my boyfriend's mum is she got him to be a breeder for um Nikki so it's actually quite awesome that noise right now is my Rosella trying to tip over the bowl. But I don't care because I'll just fill it up again. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you liked. And remember to make nice little cozy places for your cats because they like to sit in the windows and stuff. Um, toys, I would actually have to say cats love toys um, depending on the balls. The balls roll around and cause a lot of noise so if you're in an apartment it would be suggested not to use big balls that are actually plastic or rubber and stuff because they make a lot of noise. But I would suggest things that stick on windows, um, stuff that doesn't roll around and stuff like that. So yeah it's pretty good but yeah. Anyway over and out and talk to you another time and say goodbye. Say so goodbye, kitty. He says goodbye. And I hope everybody um, likes this video. And I hope everybody will love to see more videos in the future. Thank you over and out. And have a great weekend. Um, weekend coming. It's like Monday. What am I talking about? Um, yeah, just have a great week. And a great weekend. And Christmas is coming soon. So I might do a Christmas video with the cats. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye.